Prophecy 104. World, beware of the dictator of dictators. Written and spoken under the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya, November 24th, 2008. From Prophecy 105, Yahweh said to put this up on all prophecies from now on. I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hand. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has given birth. It is from the mouth of the Ruach HaKodesh, your Imaya, that has given birth. If it had only been by your hand, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth, the holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath it would have failed. Prophecy begins. Beloved Elizabeth, those who count this ministry as a blessing are your beloved spiritual children, the ones who lift your name before Abba Yahweh, who help carry not only the burdens of this ministry, but help carry your burdens and fight the ministry's enemies, who are Yahweh's enemies. Beware, some of these enemies come as wolves in sheep's clothing, seeking whom they may devour. The wolves are sent by the evil shepherd Satan, and they are sent with one purpose, to destroy you, Elizabeth, and to destroy this ministry. The wolves speak slanderous lies about you, Elizabeth. Their fruit is rotten and a stench to my nostrils. Though some dare to call me Lord, by their actions they prove I am not their Lord. I will say unto them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. Remember, it is Abba Yahweh who will take vengeance on my holy children's enemies, for they fight not against you, a mere person, but they fight against Yahweh. Beware all who attack this holy ministry. With each attack against this ministry, it is like sticking a needle into Yahweh's eyes. There is nothing that can compare to Abba Yahweh's rage and fear, for he keeps hell's fire burning, and he keeps the lake of fire burning for all eternity. The ones that bless this ministry, these I call your spiritual children, Elizabeth, and their ages does not matter, for you are a spiritual mother and mentor them. You are and used to speak forth and sow my anointed words of life into their mind, body, spirit, and soul. Your spiritual family loves and respects you in a way a biological family cannot love, unless they worship Abba Yahweh, I, Yahushua, your Mashiach, and the precious Holy Spirit. You have this in common with all who do this. My spirit has drawn each one of you to this ministry for my divine purpose. Now Elizabeth, I share my earthly treasures with you, my holy children who are my most precious of jewels. They live holy because they want to be pleasing unto Yahweh and not bring me shame. Beloved children, continue to abide in I, Yahushua, your Mashiach, and I shall continue to abide in you, and for eternity in heaven with you, me you will reside. Beloved ones, you need not fear anyone will worship my bride, for the world will reject, persecute, and hate my bride, as the heathens hate me, as they hate all that is holy. Always remember this, only the counterfeit who are not of my spirit are worshipped. Never will my true bride allow it. Beware of the counterfeit who is America's president-elect and who has done nothing and yet through mass mind control, hypnosis and mind manipulations with words alone written by others like unto a Hitler he is now worshipped and no one can figure out why Oh America remember the prophetic dream I released to Elizabeth about Hitler rising up? So beware world of this dictator of dictators for the same spirit that drove Hitler is the same spirit that will run Washington DC you have been warned. When you see a person worshipped and compared to I, Yahushua, realize this is a counterfeit sent by Satan to mock me. Governments in various parts of the world have been practicing mind control methods on the mass population in various forms, in various ways, and through various methods. All this to prepare the one who called the false prophet and the one called the Antichrist. My holy children, are not deceived and will not worship the counterfeit. They will rebuke and warn against the counterfeit. 
All of you who gather here at this ministry have been led here to feed on the green pastures as my sheep and lambs. All of you here will grow spiritually as you receive the truths found here. Put I, Yahushua, your Mashiach, first in your love and your life, and love one another who have my Holy Spirit within them. You are my precious sheep and lambs, and I am Yahushua, your good shepherd. My sheep know my voice, and I speak forth from my ring maiden, my messages, and that is why you have all been called to this ministry. This is your green pasture where you eat spiritual food from heaven and drink new wine as if it were water. I am Yahushua, your Mashiach, and all of these words apply to all who consider this ministry a blessing and to my beloved ones that bless this ministry by being a helper. I speak a word of love and gratitude, especially to those called Yahushua's demon stompers, my frontline holy prayer intercessors like none other. I speak a word of gratitude and love to my translators who take the prophecies and messages and transcribe them into the tongues of different languages. I speak a, a word of love and gratitude to those who support this ministry faithfully with their tithe and offerings. You who are blessing to this ministry shall be blessed in a great measure. As you lift up the name of this ministry and pray blessings on all who minister in it and are mighty warriors in my name and fight on the front lines, rebuking the liars who slander and do spiritual warfare against the enemies of this ministry and defend all that is holy. Great will be your rewards that will follow you to heaven. I, Yahushua, your Mashiach, promise you that I shall never leave you nor forsake you. You shall not go hungry, thirsty, or without shelter. You shall be covered as a baby chick in the palm of my hand, hidden and protected as you continue to lay down your fleshly desires and to walk in my Holy Spirit, in obedience to my Holy Scriptures out of love and gratitude more than fear. 